Lad McConkie, thank you very much for joining me here on the Patriots Report. Want to ask you really quickly, I know you met with the Patriots at the Senior Bowl. How would you characterize those conversations and have you connected since then? Yeah, you know, more of the Senior Bowl, uh, kind of their first first time talking to you. They really want to, you know, get to know about you, about your family, you know, what made you go to Georgia. Just get to know, you know, the the person, not the player. So, you know, met with them, you know, since then a couple of times. So, you know, it's been great every single time. What's an average conversation like in those, and not just with the Patriots, yeah. but I know it's a lot of getting to know you and kind of getting a sense of who you are as an individual as opposed to a player, but what are some of the conversations like? What are some of the questions like? Yeah, you know, sometimes they'll they'll give you like their install, uh, you know, put some of their, you know, their formations, their plays in, stuff like that. And, you know, try to memorize it, you know, take it all in, then they'll ta- take your mind off of it and go watch my film. So then they want to know if I can – you know, tell you what everybody's running, what the play call is, uh, what the reads are. And then after I do that, you know, they'll come back and be like, okay, what was that play that I taught you again? So a little, you know, stuff like that, just kind of see if you can recall information and if you can, you know, understand football. What were your impressions of connecting with the Patriots? I know there's a lot of turnover here. We're all going through it. We're all kind of, you know, understanding a brave new world here, uh, you know, without Bill Belichick and Tom Brady and all that. But from your perspective, from a guy who talked to Gerard Mayo and maybe Elliot Wolf, what were some of your takeaways from those conversations? Yeah, you know, meeting with them, uh, I feel like it's it was solid every single time. It seemed like great people, great coaches. Um, and, you know, they want the best for, for me if, it, if, it, if that was to happen and all their players. So uh, nothing but great things to say about them and their organization. I, I talk to a lot of guys who are going through the pre-draft process. And at this point in the calendar, the vibe I get from most of them is they're just tired. <laughs> you know, there, there's there's a sense they just want to get this over and done with. There's anxiety about the draft, sure. But you're basically done. You know, at this point, you've done everything that you can do. The pro days, the combine, the visits. Now it's about sitting and kind of waiting. How do you deal with that? Uh, Yeah, it is. You know, it was a stretch there. It was a lot. But, uh, you know, just trying to take it all in. You know, it can be, you know, stressful or hectic or, or whatever. But at the end of the day, I get to go through this one time, enjoy it. Um, I'm getting ready to, you know, live my dream out. So play football for, for a job. So I can't be too mad about that. What's the biggest thing, the biggest change maybe that you're anticipating? Everyone talks about the speed of the game and how things are faster. Uh, I've talked to a few guys and they're talking about the transition, as you just mentioned there, the idea of football as a job as opposed to playing for a school. What are some of the things that you anticipate having to deal with making that jump? Yeah, I mean, you'll just be in a a whole new environment. I feel like you get drafted and then you're you're there, so – there's some, uh, you know, change in that. And then obviously, you know, there's no school anymore, uh, no classes, you know, no mentor, tutoring sessions, whatever you got going on. It's just strictly football. So a lot more, you know, just kind of take care of business yourself. Obviously, you know, you're there with the coaches, but we're a professional now. So, um, you know, there's a little different. There's some different stuff that come along with that. What's the biggest surprise been for you throughout this pre-draft process, whether it's on the field, off the field, combine, pro day, the whole bit. What's the thing that's kind of made you stand back and go, "Wow, I didn't really anticipate that." Uh, the speed dating, <laughs> like visit, like all the teams, you know, ten minutes, uh, and then move on to the next one, and you know, it's just rolling, 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 like at the Senior Bowl or Combine. Um, and, you know, I knew I was going to meet with teams, but I didn't really know what to expect too much, uh, just from what people had told me. So that was a you know a different, different feeling than I'd had. What's the biggest? Sir, what's the question that you? are the most tired of hearing throughout this process from reporters like me or from other teams? Um, I don't, I don't know. I guess if they're just like, you know, if someone's trying to like, like reach me, like, Hey, what team do you want to go to? I'm like, at the end of the day, I don't, I mean, I don't have that decision. So whoever drafts me, you know, I'll be happy with it, but I can, mean, I can't, it's not, uh, it's crazy. Cause like, you know, college, I get to pick where I'm going that type of recruiting, but now it's kind of flipped. So that's a, yeah. People should know at the combine too, that it's nothing for you guys, but a hail of, did you meet with the Patriots? Did you meet with the Buccaneers? Did you meet with the Giants? Did you meet with the Falcons? And I imagine at some point I've, I've joked with some of my veteran, you know, colleagues, it says, look, it's a lot easier to say who you haven't met with. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Cause you meet with pretty, I don't want to say everyone, but you meet with a lot of teams in a relatively short period of time. No. Yeah. hundred percent. hundred percent. 
I, I saw the interview you gave on the NFL Network, and they used Garrett Wilson as as the comp for you. And I was really struck by the physical similarities, height, weight, speed, all that. I'm curious from your perspective, who is the guy who you have always tried to model, or your guy or guys you've tried to model your game after over the course of your playing career? Yeah, not um, honestly, not anyone specific. I don't just, you know, watch a certain guy and try to, you know, match everything. Uh, I like to, you know, see what works for people where they're, you know, it's just like, I don't know if a release looks good by this guy or top of the route look, got, look good by that guy. Um, you know, just use that and add it add it to, you know, my tools. But not anyone really specific. Um, honestly, there's so many great receivers in the league. It's like, I feel like I'd be doing myself a disservice if I didn't, you know, try to watch some of everybody. So, Are you going to the draft? Are you going to be there? No, sir. I'm gonna be at home. Yeah. Okay. I, I know it can be kind of a difficult situation to 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 be in if you're in, you know, whether it's this year. I think it's in Detroit, and you're not picked, and you get the cameras on you. So, was was that your own? Was that your own decision? Do you do you get an invite? How does that work? Um, that was my own decision. Like, I just wanted to stay home, be with my family. I know they're gonna be there supporting me. Be you know a lot easier sitting in Chatsworth and in my living room than it would be going out there. So. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, something I want to sit there and yeah, be able to be comfortable and enjoy it with all of them. Fair point. Uh, Lad, let's wrap up here. Tell me about the work you're doing now in, in advance of the draft with Six Star Pro Nutrition. Yeah, you know, partnering with Six Star um, and then their new Six Star Protein Shake that they they have coming out. It's really been essential. Uh, made it easy for me, you know, throughout this whole pre-draft process, you know, whether it's, it's helped me with strength, endurance, recovery. Uh, you know, and it and it helps that the flavors are really good as well. So I uh, kind of get best of the both worlds in, in that aspect. Sounds good, lad. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this. And good luck. Hopefully we can connect sometime down the road. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Take care.